This is Felix, and welcome to Felix Comics and Toys Review. Whatever happened to predictability? The milkman, the paper boy, the evening TV. Everywhere you look, there's a heart, a hand to hold on to. Everywhere you look, there's a face of somebody who Hi everyone, in today's episode we'll be on the time bomb teenager from Virginia, Tibitha Smith, better known as Boom Boom. She was created by writer Jim Shooter and artist Al McGrun. This figure is part of the Hasbro's 2019 Marvel Legends X-Force Wave of Wendigo. The wave includes six figures that ends up building the seventh figure, Wendigo. And in this wave, we get Rob Linefield's version of Boom Boom. She comes with a build a figure piece, Wendigo's left leg, a time bomb effect, an alternate left hand with the time bomb effect, and an alternate head with the bubblegum effect. The box is a standard Marvel Legends box, black and yellow and with the X-Force logo in yellow and red. It has a drawn image of Boom Boom on both sides. The back is a brief summary of the figure and it shows all the six figures and with Nico. Okay guys, so let's get started. Category number one, size. The height of Boom Boom in the comic books is 5 feet 5 inches at 65 inches and she weighs about 122 pounds. So as the 1 in 12 scale goes, she should be at about 5.4 to 5.5 inches as a Marvel Legend figure. So after measuring her, she actually came out at 6 inches and a half. That means that she's way bigger than she's supposed to be. Now her body proportion is like majority of all the female modes. But the thing is that she's supposed to be a teenager like Jubilee. Like Her body proportion is more like an older female she would have been better if she had a smaller build so because of the height and the body proportion being off a three is in order for you boom boom in this category category number two articulation ball hinge neck no butterfly shoulders ball jointed shoulders single jointed elbows hinge swivel and wrists no ab cruncher, torso swivel, bar jointed hips, as far as it goes, thigh swivel, double jointed knees, oh, no calf swivel, hinge and ankle rockers. There is no surprise that Boo Boom doesn't have the double jointed elbows, it's like all the other female molds, they lack the elbow movement. So she would have benefited even more with that function because of her power. You could have posed her like winding up her time bombs, but the elbow issue is always overlooked. So she gets a five in articulation. Category three, texture. All right guys, so let's start from head to toes. Her hair looks very 90s. I like the fade that they did on her. Gold earrings, the green aviator glasses, but there's just a little green mist up there and on her chin. Her lipstick matches her outfit, but I see they messed up on the uh, outline of her lips right there. That's fine. So let's look at the alternate head. And the alternate head with the bubblegum effect, just don't forget you can't remove this. Looks great. It gives that special touch of a teenager look for her. Let's go to the torso. The vest looks very 90s. The color brown, brownish red color doesn't really combine well with the pink and the green with the aviators. But I don't know why she, Boom Boom just makes it work. The bright pink onesie, whatever she's wearing, also fits perfect. And then the gloves and the matching boots. I don't know, the outfit just, those colors combination just fits well. The belt is loose, which, I mean, it has pouches, I can understand. There's nothing, she's not holding anything up. And then she has this thigh brace right here, which I don't know how it's holding up, but it's supposed to be, I guess, pouches on there. These are loose for the boots, which you could glue them yourself. I'm not. They don't get in the way of the articulation, which is perfect. Same thing with the hands. They have it on the glove as well. The wrist loose, glue them on as well. 
Now let's look at the alternate pieces. This is the alternate piece that it comes with, the left hand with the time bomb effect. It has a hinged wrist, as you can see. Perfect effect for her. The other piece that she has is another time bomb that goes directly on the right hand. It looks like she's doing the time bomb effect. Now overall, the texture of this figure is great. Even though there's a little bit of green makeup kind of messed up, but the color coordination, the, sch the scheme of the colors, the effect on the time bombs, the fade and the hair, everything was perfect. I'm loving this. She gets a five for texture. Category number four, similarity. This is Rob Liefeld's version of Boom Boom. She's not my favorite character. She's pretty much like a two-faced. She betrayed someone, then she changes her mind multiple times. She even changed her name more than once just so she could start pretty much fresh. Oh, and she's actually dating Cannibal from episode two. Now, Boom Boom's first appearance is on Secret Wars number two, issue number five, that came out in 1985. Now, if you're based your knowledge in movies, she hasn't even been mentioned at all. She hasn't come out in any movies. Now, for those cartoon lovers, she does make an appearance on the X-Men anime series that came out in 1992, but as a young child. She comes out as Boom Boom in the X-Men Evolution that came out in 2000, had a big part, but then died down. She also comes out in the scene in Wolverine and the X-Men anime series in 2009. Now for those comic book lovers, like myself, once again, Hasbro, you know that this version is Rob Langford's Cannonball. Rob has like this unique style in drawing his characters. It's like the 90s look. It, you can't get away from it. The hairstyle, the aviator glasses, the vest, the pouches. I'm loving this figure and its similarity. So it gets a five for this category. Category number five, accessories. Now this is what I'm talking about. Boom Boom comes with a Build-A-Figure piece when Dingle's left leg. She also comes with one alternate head with that pink translucent bubblegum effect. She also comes with one alternate hand to switch out the time bomb effect on the left hand and an explosion effect piece that goes to the right hand. Now this is what we like, this is what we want. We love the options to switch the heads, giving it a different look completely. This gets a five for accessories. Final score. All right, time to add up the score, guys. So in category one, size, Boo Boom was way too big for her actual comic book version. She is supposed to be a teenager, so she should have a younger body mold, such as X-23, Jubilee, or White Tiger, for example. Same mold. They actually use an adult woman mold for her. So for the size and not being accurate with the body proportion, being older, she ended up getting a three for size. Now in articulation, I really haven't had any issues with the female molds in articulation. I mean, we will see later on with, with more reviews. She has some loose parts, such as the gloves and the boots that might get in the way, especially if you glue them on, which I won't. And she doesn't have a double jointed elbows, but I was able to pose her with no problems, making this category easy to grade. So she ends up getting a five for articulation. Now in texture, of this figure was something you cannot stop looking at. Overall, the color scheme of this character is strange. I mean, it has pink, brownish red, the green doesn't really make sense, but she pulls it off. Definitely has a 90s feel to it with the vest and the sunglasses advisors, the bubblegum effect. Also the color blend of the time bomb effect on the left hand. I really didn't have any issues with this other than the loose gloves and the boots and the unnecessary belt that is not holding anything up or the thigh pouches. Those were not a problem, they were just unnecessary. It didn't affect the grade for this, so because of that, she ended up getting a five in texture. Now in similarity, I like that Hasbro started introducing this figure versions based on artists. So like the first Rob Langfield figure that came out in 2018 is in the Sasquatch wave, which is Cable. Then Cannonball and obviously Boom Boom. Then Deadpool from the London comic book exclusive. So I can't wait for Sunspot and Warpath coming out next year building our Rob Linefield X-Force team. So once again, Hasbro, you knocked this out. They gave us an identical comic book version of a superhero. Everything from the color scheme to the superpower effects, you guys did awesome. And that's why you guys ended up getting a five for that. Now in accessories, this is a good example of what the fans want from Hasbro. A figure that has multiple accessories, so we have more options to decide how we want to display our figure. So Boo Boom just had literally three simple pieces, not including the built to figure piece. We could literally pose her or display her in different poses and versions. So she ended up getting a five for accessories. Now with all that being said, the final score for Boom Boom is A minus. 
For not being my favorite character, Boom Boom came in strong. Now these are the current grades so far for the figures that we have graded. We got plenty of more to cover. So stay tuned for the next episode, which will be on Guardian. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate you for watching this. Please leave any comments and click like and subscribe. And until next time, don't stop collecting. Thank you, guys.